Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? <laughs> uh, thank you, Ken. It's 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 good to see you. Always good to see the father. The father will you know will bash Clav a bit on this stream, you know, because they freaking deserve it. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe they actually made anniversary Pierre and Napoleon PVE units. That's that's a f disgrace. Don't die, Snake. Snake. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, uh, tired a bit, but everything is fine. You? Good, good. Uh, same. Well, I'm not tired, so I think I'm better. The why? Why I'm not tired? Or why I'm better? Why are you better? Because I'm not tired. <laughs> 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 the day off, that's right. Oh, nice. So, uh, Pierre, we'll talk about Pierre, Napoleon, Napoleon, Gentile, Ro and Robson. Uh, and one bonus player for Gold Magistrate, <laughs> Oda, uh, the guy with Dosanko shoot. Because, yeah, he, he asked for him as a joke. And I'm gonna do it as a joke. Okay, uh, Pierre comes with a team skill that gives everybody 21%. No, that gives every skill type players 21%. And full body stand as a passive, so the higher his stamina is, the higher the force of special skills will be to the maximum of 25%. So if you have 80% or more of your stamina, his passive will be fully active. And if he has 20% or less, the passive will not be active at all. Special skills are Eiffel Twin Overhead Kick with 490 momentum. He shoots with Pierre and that's a new overhead kick. Artistic pass which was only available on the previous World Cup Pierre like 2 years ago, 3 years ago with 455 momentum which is a great pass. And a A ranked artistic dribble attack with 320. Hidden skills are bond with exactly 11 skill type players that gives everybody 3.5% and stat handicap resistance so he will shield uh, 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 all skill type players by 5.5% and uh, type link skill to for skill players so the more skill type players in the match the higher stats are boosted and to the maximum of 10 percent yeah uh, this guy is meant to be in of course only skill type players because uh you know in a team with all skill type players because this will not activate uh, this is, uh, you know, I I was a little bit of less critical on Ishizaki because I thought that's not something that they gonna hunt, especially with uh, some of the most popular non-Japanese players. And now done that when the people actually waited one year for the anniversary Summer Pierre and Napoleon, we got a PVE units uh, I'm just lost for words this is uh, one of the stupidest marketing moves I have ever seen in my life I, I gotta admit I you know club ruined my boner they ruined my boner for this anniversary banner yeah uh, raw starts whatever you know first is every uh, 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 this character that uh, wait, this is uh, nine eight one one. Okay, uh, this right side is everything we care about, you know. Uh, and uh, as every full body stand character will first talk about his stats when he has full stamina in the skill type uh, team with maximum ten percent active. So that's this. Because, you know, you don't want to play this guy in any other team, really. Uh, so, he's a great dribbler at 61.2, great ground shooter at 84, 85k, great overhead at 85 too. And uh, one 
pass is excellent at 72 one two is better at 77.6 because of the better special skill defensively he is great too at 58.3k tackle 67.3k intercept and he can even miraculously block someone but really rarely with 56.5 uh yeah uh so right now we'll talk about this guy when he has half of his stamina so at half of his stamina he is still a good dribbler at 55k a good ground shooter at 76 good overhead at 76 uh, also like the same because the momentum is the same Great ground, a great ground passer, great passer at 65k, excellent 1-2 at 70k still, because like I said, better special skill, and he's still a good tackler at 52.5, great interceptor at 60, block is now, you know, not so good at 50, so whatever, uh, you know, he's attacking midfielder, so whatever with block, you know, but, you know, you know, uh, when he is drained, he is maybe the only thing that is worth mentioning is that he's still a good passer and has a good one tool. Uh, obviously, every every number pass, uh, intercept, tackle is respectable. It's not something that he can never take the ball with. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's still good. But uh, the main thing about this. Uh, Disappointment is that uh, you know anniversary players. One of the most pe popular ones are actually PVE units that you can barely use in in, in PVP, and that, that's just absolutely stupid, ridiculous. Let's talk about Napoleon. Napoleon comes with a team skill that gives everybody every agility player 21%. And penalty area master, so in the penalty area his stats rise by 25%. Special skills. <laughs> Thank you, Viking. <laughs> uh, special skills are Eiffel Twin overhead kick with 490 momentum, uh, Field of Dreams with 490, and Cannon Pass, which is A ranked at 295 momentum. Uh, hidden skills are bond with exactly 11 agility type players that gives everyone 3.5%. You know what? I'll just stop right now because when I first opened uh, the game and when I, when I first watched like Pierre, I was like, okay, Pierre is, you know, a PV unit. Napoleon. So Napoleon will probably be some player that will not depend on Pierre, you know? That's what I thought, and I was for sure that was it, you know, because who, what game developer is crazy enough to give both one of the most popular units PvE only units? And then I see this shit and I'm like, jaw to the floor. Uh, so, uh, stun hit can be resistance to agility players by 5.5 and the more agility players in the match the higher stats are boosted by 10% uh, mm -hmm. this is uh, uh, stats are uh, kind of different uh, shown because this is already active so right now I gotta change that because this is active passive and that other thing is both passives active so uh these are his stats when he is in a team with agility players uh, uh 10 other agility players and uh he when he is out of the penalty area so um uh, i guess you know, I don't want to say good, but, you know, almost good. <laughs> Dribbler at 44.7, uh, good passer at 43.9, a better 1-2 at uh, 60 because of the better special skill. Uh, if he had, let's say, 470 dribble, that would be better, you know, of course. But that's not the case. Uh, 
only 400 for this guy um, shoots are kind of whatever uh, defensively is kind of whatever too so in the box with 10 agility uh, players in the match with him so that's total 11 agility players is a uh, good passer let's say in the box a good dribbler in the box with 54.9 is a good ground shooter at 83.6 good volley at 72.1 and good overhead with 80.3 uh, this shot is with Misaki and Pierre so it's gonna be a little tougher to enable uh, his pass is uh, great at 66.2 and 1-2 is awesome at 72.5 tackle is uh, good at 53.5 but you know that's that's not something you will use in the box uh, you know that's never uh, that, that you will never use in the box so it's like whatever these guys whatever because when you look at everything you have to deal with uh, to enable this guy you will just say you know fuck you you know and so let's talk about Gentile because this is really ridiculous um, Gentile comes with team skill. Now we're going to the good players. Now, you know, Oda. No, no Oda. Oda is not good, you know. But Gentile and Robson. Gentile comes with team skill that gives everyone 23% if you use 5 or more toughness type non Japanese players. Finally. And Inside Master 50%. So when you guess the right action in a matchup, his stats rise by a ridiculous 50%. Uh, special skills are new star block with 490 momentum, right angle defense with 440 and a rank dandy pass with 290. Hidden skills are bond with 4 or more toughness type players that gives everybody 3% and a shield for his teammates 3.5% which, really, which is really really good. And recover so he will uh, when he loses a matchup he will not be shocked and stand there like an idiot 20 minutes you know he will wake up really fast by you know, it's not only 50 percent you know um this is kind of weird but it's not correct it's not 50 percent it's actually faster uh is it is it catenazio interception 475 yeah, it is. Okay, let's 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 let uh, four seventy five, four seventy five, and it's not only four seventy five. You know, <laughs> it's not only four seventy five. It's four seventy five, which is still great. Um, okay, so when we look at his stats, so uh, when he uh, when you don't win a matchup, he is uh, for a defender. A good dribbler at 41.5 and a good passer. Uh, you know, on the border borderline good, let's say borderline good dribbler and borderline good passer. Uh, he is a good tackler at 52.5. Let's say a borderline good. <laughs> Interception is kind of meh at 46.9 and block is whatever at 57.3. You know. Uh, it's gonna be tough to bully someone with that stats. Probably only skill type players that that are not really powerful. But sometimes you will be able to bully them maybe with a tackle and a block. Um, when you guess the right action, he is a great dribbler at 62.3, great passer at 60k, excellent tackler at 78.8, one of the best blockers in the game at 86, and a great interceptor at 70.3. So, you know, <laughs> if you guess the right action with this guy, nobody will ever bully you. If they bully you, you screenshot that shit and post it on general discord you know uh, official discord and say club you suck because if somebody bullies this guy you know while you guess the right action that's gonna be freaking ridiculous yeah that's one of the things that uh, works team i want I, I was like saying at, at the discord uh, like when, when first i saw them you 
You cannot even use Napoleon and Pierre in the same team. I mean, what the f are they smoking in club? I just don't f know, you know. If they made something like with Pierre 3.5, with Napoleon 3.5, you have to use both of them and Bond and Shield will not be active. I would say, okay, you know, it sucks, but whatever. But they actually made both PvE units and you actually cannot play them in the same freaking team, which is absolutely ridiculous. Even if you build the team around them uh, just to use them in PvP, you cannot use both of them, which is, yeah, works team. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're not going for monoclore teams, they, they, they say that these guys will be PvE units only. Because I, I don't know, I don't know what they're smoking there. You're actually talking about Dreamfest Gentile and that he's still better. I mean, you know... <laughs> yeah, he's better at bullying, but he's not a better player. Like, overall. It all depends on what team you use. For my team, Gentile is worthless because I cannot fit him in, you know. This guy is, for me, one of the best units I can have, you know, so stop, stop, you know, you know, talking about the different color players, like they're comparing them, you know, you cannot compare different color players because they fit in a different team for most people. Yeah, I was excited too. I had a huge boner and my boner was gone as soon as I saw it. Let's see Robson. Robson comes with a team skill that gives everybody 23% if you use 5 or more uh, agility type non-Japanese players and will to win when superior so when winning the score uh, when winning the, with the score uh, lab and their translations ridiculous uh, his stats rise by 20% when you lead you know, special skills are British Charge with 465 momentum, Perfect block, block with 455, and a range high power dribble with 295. Hidden skills are Bond with 4 or more agility type players that gives everybody 4%, which is awesome. Full body stand, so the higher his stamina is, the higher the momentum of his special skills will be to the maximum of 25%. And auto intercept enhance, so uh, auto intercept will activate 40% of the time. Um, yeah, but that's because I am tired. <laughs> so you know everything looks great so far. Uh, will to win is you know whatever, but you know let's. Uh, I will talk about that separately uh, when we look at his raw stats. So at the start of the game. This is at the start of the game. This is, you know, with fully passives active. So, this is him at the start of the game. You know. So, you know, whatever, whatever. Ah, it's a good dribbler, okay. But uh, you will not waste stamina with full body stand character to dribble. Mm. He's a great tackler at 68.9, 69, uh, 69, <laughs> 62.2 for block, which is, you know, not the best, which means that the best shooters will manage to shoot over him, uh, and, uh, intercept is good at 57.7. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's say you have still the score you know zero zero and it's you you know you manage to defend with him a couple of times he has uh, half stamina so he's still a good tackler at 62k uh, not a good blocker at 56 and uh, let's say you know and the average interceptor at 52, still not bad though, he can intercept with that, especially against toughness players. So, uh, when he's drained and, uh, you know, the score is, 
tied or you're losing he you know he will be an easier obstacle to overcome so um this is his full stamina let's say you score you score at the first attack whatever and he's still un un untouched you know <laughs> he's still a virgin he's still a virgin <laughs> Nobody attacked him, so let's see the stats in that. You know, obviously good, whatever. Excellent tackler at 82.7, great blocker at 74.6, and a great interceptor at 69.3. Uh, that's with full stamina. Let's say you are leading and he is he has half of his stamina so he still is one of the best tacklers at 74.5 a good block great blocker at 67.2 and a great interceptor at 62.3 still respectable but don't waste stamina to pass with this guy uh, when he is drained uh, so um, when he has only one more move for stamina and you are in the lead is still respectable uh, at everything he does but block he will not be so good there but still will manage to block some tough, uh, toughness shooters uh, intercept is respectable at 55 against toughness shooters is gonna be great and buckle is still awesome at 66.2 uh, so yeah this guy, you know, um, uh, he's fuck off. He's kind of good. You know, he no, he's not kind of good. He's great. <laughs> Obviously, he's great, and uh, he can be a great bencher. He can be a great uh, defender, like uh, on the sides, you know. And uh, when you actually have the lead or something at the half time, you put him in the middle, you know, <laughs> that that you can do. And uh, you can even play him in the middle at the start, you know, but uh, as for me, I would use him on the sides and, you know, maybe later put him in the middle, you know, uh, because he is really good when you have the lead. Uh, he can be a good bencher then too, because if you have the lead, you put him in. To defend your score and he will be a huge bully there um, so yeah you know this guy is great excellent bond easy to activate you need only four agility type players not not known Japanese not Japanese auto intercept which is always awesome you know you just uh, you know he's very versatile much more versatile than uh, than than uh, no, I would not say much more versatile because you cannot be much more versatile than an inside master character because the inside master character can do it all and especially this Gentile, he is a great dribbler, passer with inside master. He's great at everything he does. So this guy I meant that is more versatile in the terms of uh, being a bencher, being a side defender and then in the middle, you know. But yeah, I screwed up. He's not more versatile. <laughs> They're both very good. They're both very good. One of the best defenders in the game right now. Hey, do you want to add something about these guys? Well, you, I think you did a good job at uh, analyzing their weaknesses and strengths. I think overall the banner is easy skip for most people. Um, not just be because of the French guys, just overall the Gentile and Robson are good, but they are not must-haves, as we always say. Uh, if you need a non-Japanese unit from a specific uh, type, either pull on the Spanish banner or wait for the Germans, Brazilians, uh, and maybe a, a, a recap banner like at the end maybe maybe it will happen maybe not obviously uh, yeah. you will have dream collection dream fest coming this this is just the start of anniversary so yeah i just I hope 
you know, I just hope that they will not do the same shit with uh, Brazilians and uh, the I likes. Hope so too. I hope so too, but uh, judging by the, <laughs> the state of affairs, so to speak, at the moment, maybe every banner will feature at least one unit meant to be played uh, in a monocolor team. Yeah. Ho hopefully they will change it. Uh, because if, let's say, uh, this month is Rising Sun, maybe both months, July will be Rising Sun too, maybe might be a club meta, I don't know. But, uh, you know, because England and uh, Italy didn't play in the Rising Sun in the month, but the, the players released Ride a World Youth, like the Netherlands and Italy, or Junior Youth, like this Robson, because he was only mentioned in the Junior Youth. Uh, yeah. So maybe the Rising Sun players, like Brazil, Brazil, Germany were obviously very strong and they they can release more players like the numbers, more players and more diversity so they can release the monocolor like uh, you remember these Brazilians like Marcio or uh, Georgi uh, they, like two years ago they will get a revamp uh, the second half of June yeah uh, like, but, but the, the main the main players obviously they need to be strong and like better than what we currently have yeah uh, so, yeah what i wanted to say more about this transfer is this sp exchangeable this is a fucking disgrace and it's disgusting you actually need to go through the all 10 steps and then waste another 1000 dbs to get one guaranteed for sure the player you want and they call that the pity system i have no words i really have no words uh to take it into you know uh perspective to put it into perspective you need around 750 dollars to get one player uh, that you want guaranteed 750 dollars of course the chances are high you you know not so high actually you get him you get that player before uh you you know a last step is one guaranteed right yes so yes. you will get one of them at the last step for sure you know yeah uh, one thing I might uh, I might consider doing is going only to step five. That's what that's what I like thought maybe I will do, but I'm not really sure about that. You know, I mean this is just a f***ing disgrace. This is one of the worst banners in the history of the game. Uh, one of the worst uh, uh, players added in the history of the fucking game. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to the right. Let's go to the rise of new champions right now. Gentile, I summon thee. Gentile, I summon thee. Please come to Papa. Please come to Papa, Gentile. Please. Let's 
皆さんお揃いのようだぜよし来い,い行くぜ行くよ,よしゴールが見えた翼来い九馬くんいけいけカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンカモンノーカモンジェンティーレカモンジェンティーレカモンジェンティーレイエスイエス Let's freaking go! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh. Gentile, you beautiful man. This deserves a beer. <laughs> this deserves a beer and and you know a chat with you beautiful people. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> what is the importance? One importance is incredible team skill. Second importance is incredible special skill. Third importance is incredible bonds. And the fourth importance is he's freaking broken. <laughs> ah, cheers, guys. Yes. Talk to us, gentile. Do it. Nice, nice. Very nice. Play. And you know what? A point, Captain. Do it. Mr. Captain Gentile. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, guys, uh, that's it. See you tomorrow. Uh, have a great evening. Uh, good night. Uh, thanks for watching. Press that like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitch. Uh, that's it. Bye bye. Bye, bro. See you.